Welcome along. We begin our roundup of week 12 at the Stade Gaston Girard, where leaders Paris Saint Germain were stunned by bottom club Dijon on Friday. It all seemed to be going according to the script when Kylian Mbappe lifted over Alfred Gomez to give the champions a 19th minute lead. A fifth assist of the season for Ankel Di Maria and a fifth goal for the world champion. But this David versus Goliath clash ended up going the way of the underdogs. Munir Shuiar brought Dijon level on the stroke of half-time after Kedan Navas failed to hold Didier Ndong's cross. His first Ligue 1 Comforama goal. Jean de Cadiz then gave Dijon their first top-flight victory over PSG with this superb individual effort just after the break. The Venezuelan also opening his account for the season. PSG failing to cut the mustard as they fell to already their third defeat of the season. Angers moved up to second in the table after snapping a four-game winless streak at home to Strasbourg. The game's only goal came on 26 minutes after Baptiste Santa Maria was brought down in the area by Ludovic Ajourk. Very much a forwards tackle this. Former Strasbourg striker Stefan Bauer can then swept in against his former side, ending Angers' three-game scoring drought and moving them to within seven points of the leaders, PSG. Huang Yui Jo played a starring role as Bordeaux got the better of Nantes, recovering from back to back defeats to go sixth in the table. The South Korean teeing up Francois Camano for the opening goal shortly before half time. Lovely technique with the outside of the boot, and Camano getting his first of the season. Well, Huang then got on the score sheet himself on 57 minutes, sweeping in his third of the campaign. All of them have now come from outside the area, which means that he has the best long range record of any player in Europe's top five leagues this season. 2-0 it finished, a third straight loss for Nantes, but they remained third in the table. After a miserable week which saw them thumped by PSG and knocked out of the League Cup by Monaco, Marseille got back to winning ways at home to Lille. Morgan Sanson with the opener on 47 minutes after Lille goalkeeper Mike Mignon clattered into his defender Gabriel. The second came 11 minutes from time and it was a scrappy one at that. Valentin Rangier, Dario Benedetto and Dimitri Payet were all involved, but it was the unfortunate Gabriel who headed into his own net. Marseille scoring more goals in this game than they had shots on target. Lille got a consolation on 83 minutes, a thumping header from Adam Asuomaro, their captain, but Marseille held on for a vital win, which takes them fourth. Nice finally claimed their first win since September the 21st at home to 10 Mount Reims. The visitors had Moussa Dumbia sent off on 26 minutes after he wryly applauded the referee's decision to book him, earning himself a second yellow card. Nice took full advantage with Willem Cyprian firing in the opener just six minutes later. He's up to four goals for the season, which is as many as he managed throughout the whole of last term. Cyprian also involved in number two, whipping in a corner which was swept home by Christophe Harel. Not a vintage performance, but Nice are finally back to winning ways, and that should ease the pressure on Patrick Vieira. Saint-Étienne's renaissance under Claude Puel continues. Levera up to eighth place after edging Monaco on Sunday. Tony Buanga got the game's only goal on the hour mark, his third of the season, after good work from Roman Hamuma. Saint-Étienne have now picked up 10 points from 12 since Puel took over. That is more than any other league and come for Armour side over the past four games. Perhaps a hint of a foul there in the build-up, but it was double-checked on VAR and the goal stood. Buanga sliding it home for 1-0. Brest were looking to make it four straight wins in the French top flight for the first time in 33 years, but their excellent recent run was halted in Amiens. Luca Elsner's side extending their unbeaten run to six games in all competitions thanks to Juan Otero's first league goal of the campaign. Lovely finish there from the Colombian. Sado Garassi had earlier missed a penalty for the hosts, but it mattered not as they held on for a 1-0 win. Leon are back into the top half of the table for the first time since September after Memphis Depay inspired them to victory over Toulouse. They had to do it the hard way though. Toulouse taking the lead through Yaya Sonogo on 15 minutes. The Panther making a stronger start than the Lions. But Depay had the away fans roaring again on 26 minutes after being superbly teed up by Jeffrey and Adelaide. One of the best assists that you'll see all season. How about that? Now, Anthony Lopez made a costly error in Lyon's last Champions League game against Benfica, and his own goal on 57 minutes allowed Toulouse to restore their lead. 
the VAR ruling that there was no foul here on Ephemios Kouloris. Ren Adelaide was involved again for Lyon's second equaliser. Scooping this one over for Moussa Dembele, who took care of the rest. The France under-21 striker with his eighth of the season. Beautifully finished, but it was Depay who had the final word. Deep in second half stoppage time. The Dutch international going it alone and snatching three precious points for Lyon. Depay the hero. He's up to seven goals for the campaign. And that's now seven in six meetings with Toulouse. Mess missed the chance to move out of the drop zone as they squandered a 2-0 lead at home to Montpellier. The usual suspect, Habib Diallo, opened the scoring midway through the first half. His eighth goal this season out of a total of ten for Mess. Open and get doubled their advantage early in the second half with his first league and Conferama strike since April of 2017. Not a bad way to end his drought. Not the first time that Montpellier have conceded more than one goal in a game this term. Superb stuff from Nguet. But six minutes of inattention from Mess allowed Montpellier to rescue a point. First, Andy Delors shrugged off Stopila Sunzu before squeezing in at the near post for 2-1. Delors was also involved in the second goal, which was emphatically put away by Junior Sambia after he came off the bench at half-time. So Montpellier getting a draw in spite of what their coach, Michel De Zakarian, termed an insipid performance. Mess remain 19th. Only nine results this weekend, with the game between Nîmes and Rennes postponed due to heavy rainfall. Seven home wins in all, including that historic victory for Dijon over PSG. Lyon were the only team to triumph on the road, and there was just the one draw in Metz. Well, PSG may have lost three of their first 12 games, which is the first since 2010, but they still have seven points in hand over Angers. In fact, there's more of a gap between first and second than there is between second and 15th. Marseille, Lille and Lyon are all within touching distance of the podium. It's massively tight at the bottom as well, with just a point separating 16th from 20th. Wins for Amiens and Nice push them up to 12th and 13th, while Dijon are out of the relegation zone. Nîmes slip to the bottom, but they do have that game in hand. After a slate of European fixtures in midweek, Nice and Bordeaux kick off week 13 on Friday night. PSG are at Brest on Saturday with Lille and Monaco in action later that night. And the big Sunday night game sees Marseille and Lyon face off in the Olympico.